Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Prop Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today, I thought it'd be cool to talk about one of my lightsabers from out of my collection. Dude, I got tons and tons of lightsabers in this room. I used to collect the Master Replica lightsabers that had the blades already in it. Later, I think Hasbro ended up uh, buying the rights to them and using them. And of course, you can get those same lightsabers with the same design from Galaxy Edge and Disney. And with that being said, one of the cool things I like about the Galaxy Edge lightsabers that you can actually now buy the lightsabers with just the hilt without the blade. Like, face it, when I was young, the blade was cool, man. We was making little Star Wars fan films, swinging those things around like we had all the money in the world to destroy these. Even at that time, I think $120 lightsabers. Now that I'm older, I just want the hilt, right? And, and, and the hilt is more accurate to what you see in the movies, just to have something on display like a museum piece uh, here in my, uh, my little collectible room. Now, that brings us to this little bad boy right here, which is Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from the movie Return of the Jedi. And before we open this thing up, man, just to go a little bit over the box, this thing is not prestige the box itself is is not in good condition. I actually end up getting this lightsaber, I believe for $80. So I got it for real, real cheap because I didn't care about the box. Most collectors will probably go crazy receiving something like this in, in, in the mail. Like there's a lot of tape damage on it and it's missing the seal here, a logo that goes here. I'm assuming just judging by some of the other lightsabers that Galaxy Edge sells that it was probably the Rebel uh, logo that went there. Anyways, I already knew I wasn't gonna be displaying it with the box, so I really didn't care. I got a 3D printed stand that I 3D printed man that I'm gonna have the lightsaber sitting on so we're good with that being said even though the logo is missing it still works pretty cool there's a button right here you push and opens up the box and really really not bad man you know now that I'm looking at it man the prop was in me is thinking about painting this thing and weathering this uh case man it might not be a bad idea to display it like that but we'll see i already 3d printed the stand so that's what we're going with man but let's get the lightsaber out uh before we dive i do want to look at some of the accessories that's in there and i'll break that down to you guys one of the big things that's in there is this piece right here obviously uh very similar to this whole top part right here and what this is is when you buy the blade this is so the blade can fit in to the uh to the hilt because as you see here with this skinny part there's not enough room for uh, the blade. In fact, this part right here isn't big enough for a blade to fit in. And even if it did fit in, that wouldn't be enough to keep it steady. Uh, definitely not steady enough for you to be out there lightsaber battling with, right? So that's what this piece is for. This whole part screws off. You screw this thing on. Now we got enough room for the blade to fit all the way in here, connect, light up, connect to the electronics, which is still in this bottom piece. So very, very cool. Uh, of course, you can buy this thing with a blade already. I think it's another $50, $60 for the blade as well. So it's definitely a more expensive piece with this and the blade. Again, me loving the fact that I have the option to buy the hill. I only wanted the hill. And even if I had got this at full price, it would have been cheaper than getting it uh, this with the blade. All right, so cool. All right, again, man, cool little. Cool little box. Okay, the lightsaber itself, man, very, very accurate to the movie. Very accurate. Uh, one thing that if you've never held one of these things, this thing is made almost completely out of metal. There's probably a few plastic parts here that blends in with the metal perfectly, but the majority of this thing is heavy metal. Definitely one of them things where, no, you cannot use this as a lightsaber, but if you did get in a fight with somebody, I guess you could throw it at them. Just playing, y'all. Kids, I don't condone violence don't throw lightsabers. But the details on this bad boy is perfect because not only is it metal, but it has a brushed metal uh, look to it. So you can see the imperfections in the metal, uh, or as to say perfections in the metal if you're comparing it to the actual thing. You got this gold part right here that actually looks like a brass. Again, I have to say there's gotta be some, some plastic on here. I'm assuming that this, this control box is probably mostly plastic, but it's hard to tell, man. There's so much metal on this. There's, there's, if there's plastic on it, it's very, very little, and that plastic is blending in with the rest of the metal just, just fine. So the only thing that makes this thing absolutely, you know, not accurate is the little uh, sound thing at the bottom. You got the speaker at the bottom, which again is very, very consistent with other Master Replica. I still call them Master Replica lightsabers. But again, you got Hasbro, you got Galaxy Edge. They all got the little speaker on the bottom and also probably the battery pack. You can unscrew that. That's where the batteries go. It probably take either double A or triple AAA batteries. Back in the day when I was collecting the Master Replicas, I always bought two of them. Uh, which again, made it a more expensive hobby for me back in the day, but we were doing fan films. So I needed the hilt and I needed one with the blade. So I would buy two and actually remove, permanently remove the blade from, from the lightsabers. With that being said, there was one lightsaber, which was Obi-Wan's 
lightsaber, which as we know, Obi-Wan's, uh, the old man, Obi-Wan, uh, ben Kenobi lightsaber is very, very much like this exact same design. The Master Replicas only had the fat part of the lightsaber. They didn't have this piece that you can screw on with the skinny piece. So again, man, Galaxy Edge, Dude, y'all are rocking. I, I, I love the lightsabers. It doesn't feel too big. I do feel like some of the earlier lightsabers were a little bit bigger. They weren't too, too bad, but they were definitely uh, bigger. Whereas in this one, seems like it's small, seems like it's accurate. Again, I haven't done exact measurements, so it may be off, but to the eye, to a fan who watched Star Wars millions and millions of times, this looks like the real deal to me. I'm gonna tell you what prompted me, man. Mandalorian season two, Luke Skywalker's appearance in Mandalorian is what prompted me to, to, to go and cop this. So Disney Plus, man, Disney, uh, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, you guys do awesome, awesome, awesome work with advertisement because Luke Skywalker was in that episode for probably about five minutes. I finished watching the episode, went online and found me a Luke Skywalker lightsaber, just had to have one. Anyways, other details on this thing, you got the emitter which is again, very, very much movie accurate. You got the control box that had the little triangles, the red and green triangle, uh, I guess saying whether the lightsaber is on and off. You got this little piece right here that I believe comes from a calculator. If I'm not mistaken, I know on the, on the graph, what they call the Graflex lightsaber, Luke Skywalker lightsaber from Empire Strikes Back in the first Star Wars movie, the button was actually uh, a calculator uh, dial, the little part that uh, absorbs uh, the, the solar energy to power the, the calculator. So I don't know, I gotta do more research on this one, man. Th this particular lightsaber, I'm not sure where all the parts are. I know everything about the Graflex lightsaber. This one I haven't done a lot of, a lot of research on, but there's a, of course a couple of parts on there that's familiar, like I said, the calculator part. But anyways, man, again, that's my review. Again, this is the Galaxy Edge, Lou Skywalker, Return of the Jedi lightsaber. The one that he famously constructed after he got his arm cut off in Empire Strikes Back. Also the one that had a blue blade all the way up until the release where they changed it to green, adding dimension to the whole lightsaber thing to where we have more colors than just the blue and the red. Am I dropping knowledge on you? Like I got a poster right behind the camera of Luke Skywalker holding this lightsaber and instead of it being green, there's a blue blade. And it was like that in all the advertisement until the last minute. I guess George Lucas wanted to make it clear that he had constructed a new lightsaber. And since you don't see a lot of shots of the hilt, even in the original film, you don't really see a lot of clear shots of the hilts. The easiest way to, to, to make the difference was to change the blade color to let you know, oh, that's a different lightsaber. Listen, most Star Wars fans know that. If you didn't know it, you're welcome. But anyways, man, leave me some comments, man. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have this Galaxy Edge one? Do you got other ones? Again, I got a room full of lightsabers. Hit me up, man. I could talk about lightsabers all day. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys to death and I'll check you out next time, all right? Peace. Yo, I'm off the planet with bandits and bandages. All fans and wizards advancement with lyrics dancing like your pants got ants in it. My ancestors had antennas. They were from space, an alien race of advanced bitters. The planet killers that plan to kill the stand still are still standing in the streets when the media hit us. Plus the war gorillas seem more realer than dreams. Spilling the beans. Nah, that's what it looks like whenever your brain bleeds. If they see the pain they we aim at thee. Lame MC, they came to me. They will flee away from me, away from the heat. Generated by creations, always lacing the beat with lyrical speech. If the heat spoken lies wrong, my mind designed to write wrongs on paper, denying like Einstein haters. The fly by later, but try by neighbors. Side eye fakers combined with traitors, betray me like I'm the savior. Yo, I'm here to cause y'all some chaos. Listen, cause if